Now, this Easter egg for Gulag Zombies is short but sweet. But um, Jason and I are going to do it kind of the long way because the, the first and hardest step you can get lucky on by getting a bunch of drops. But if you don't, it's very, very hard to get through, especially if you're not a strong Zombies player. So I think Jason and I are just going to get everything first. So get all the all the parts first. Open all the doors. And then we'll do the actual Easter egg late in this game. So that's kind of the plan. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the MP5 right off the bat before we open any doors and stuff. Because ammo's cheap. Then we open doors. Yeah, that's how we're going to do this. That's that's how I think that yeah, it's all it's all up in here boys. It's all up in here. Okay round three first Brutus comes super easy Shoot him in the head thing comes off and then just level him easy Easy all right guys Jason just opened the first door down here We're gonna get all the parts here first before we do anything. So right here in the sink like we spawned here uh, First thing is here's the first shield part. I'm gonna open this second door for a thousand boom and then Here's where you build the shield. Over in this corner is the first Ragnarok piece. Right in, uh, let's see if I can see it for you. Yeah, right in here. So Jason's gonna open this first door. Second door. Oh, I guess Jason's opening that one. We're gonna take a right real fast and we're gonna turn on the power right here. Boom, so that's power. Eh. Here's the second Ragnarok piece. If we go up these stairs, we take a left. Right here is the next shield part. Now we're going to open this door next to Jugs. And we're going to get these teleporter pads. Now, the teleporter pads are pretty cool. So you'll see these little teleporting areas, I guess you can call them. And there's four of them on the map. And you can put two down at a time. And you can link the two spots. And you can teleport whenever you want. So I think it's easiest just to put one in here, back here, next to where the Ragnarok's built. And then the other one we're going to put in the jail cell in the back left corner. If here's the shield build, it's over here. We're going to be coming here a lot. So see, you can just kind of go back and forth in between the two. So if we just picked up the teleporter pads, we're going to go down here, go to electric chair. We'll take a right right here. And now we've opened up this top area. Now there's a part right here, which is the third part for the shield. Uh, nothing over that way. We're going to take a right. And here is the last Ragnarok piece right on this um, bench. Now, you could open this door for, uh, what is this, 12? Don't really have to, but here's Double Tap, which we will be getting. Uh, Jason and I are going to do a little more uh, point farming, get some perks, and then we can start the actual Easter egg quest. So, yeah, let's do it. I'm just waiting on double tap. I only have another 80 points to go. We're just going to build the Ragnaroks real fast. So Ragnaroks go here in the power room. And then we're also going to build the shield. So if you're looking at the teleporter in the back here, we're just going to go over here. We're going to build this bad boy. Boom. Okay. So double tap is bought. I have 1,700 left over. And I'm actually going to get rid of the pistol. Might as well, right? So I'm going to get... The MP7, just in case, you know, just as like uh, insurance. So if you if you're at Electric Cherry, uh, the MP7 is right here. Jason and I are gonna bang this out real quick. We have power turned on. We're gonna go to the center here. Come on, is that enough? Yes. We're gonna go to the center and we're gonna activate this. Now this is by far the hardest lockdown, uh, or like hardest part, but it is uh, it's a hard lockdown. So just be ready. It's a lot of Brutuses, a lot of zombies. So hopefully hopefully we can get through this. Uh, your best bet is to kind of stay together. But uh, just make sure you don't walk in each other's space. This gas may end up killing me here. Oh, no, no, oh I see a nuke or something. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now focus the Brutus. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Okay. Okay. We're good. Okay. Wow, just in time. Oh, Holy shit. Whoo! That was nice. Barely. Oh, sh Jesus. Okay, so there's uh There's uh that's done. Yeah. Good 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 job. Um what do I want to buy? I have a lot of money. You know what? Let's just pack a bunch of the MP5 for shits and giggles. So, Jason and I are going to save the zombie on this one. And um 
we can basically complete most of the Easter egg. So we finished the lockdown. Pack of punch is open. Now Jason's just going to take the zombie from me real fast. And we're going to get the four generators. So the four generators have to be turned on in order to move on. The first one is right here next to power. The second one is upstairs right across from jugs here. Third one is right here next to this. Uh, like if that's where we found the teleporter pads and here's the teleporter that you can activate that one. Then the next one's to the right of Electric Cherry here. So cool, we're done. Now, you do need a Riot Shield for this. If you don't have a Riot Shield, you have to build it. But we can now open uh, this door in the top corner here across from Power. If you take a right, now you have to have your shield up because this will kill you right away. There's actually a machine gun turret right here. Uh, boom, just like that. That's how you get through that. Now, there's, there's this big open area. You can train around here. You can do whatever. But there's actually nothing down here except for some guns. None of them are really worth it because we're already through the hardest part. So back here is the key. We're going to pick up the summoning key. And we're going to run back to power. Make sure you run straight because this machine gun is going to shoot at you. So just keep running straight. The shield's on your back, so that's why it defends you. We're going to come over to here. We're going to toss the key into this generator. Boom. Cool. So now we have to go through about two rounds and wait for the key to drop down to here. So Jason and I are going to, I don't know, I guess, see, because we played it so safe this time, like last time we actually managed to beat this on wave seven, I believe. So now that we're doing this um, late and like really prepared for it, we have all this money left over and I don't know what to do with it. All right. So we finished two waves. Now it should be done. Come on. Oh, yeah, so it dropped up there this time. Ah, interesting. Last time I dropped down there, now it's up there. Huh. Okay. So now we're playing hot potato with this bitch. It's going to hurt you a little bit, but you can actually throw it. So I would suggest getting kind of down to the stairs and just hucking it as far as you can go. Boom. Wait for your health to come back. Okay, cool. So now it's there. Take your Ragnaroks. Left or uh, right click to place them. You're going to take it. No, pick, pick up. Yep, pick it up. Throw the key in, and then I'll do that. And now you just kind of wait for it to stop. And just like that, it stops. So now we're going to take our Ragnaroks and the summoning key. Uh, I'm just going to leave that there. For Let me just clear it out a little bit. You could save one more zombie, but we pick up the summoning key, and we throw it back in. Now that it's charged. Come on, baby! And now you are able to teleport to the end. And it teleports you to prison from Verdansk. It's like a little prison. But yeah, so that's actually the whole Easter egg, guys. I know you're like, what? That's it? No viable ending? That's exactly what we thought, too. It's a little, I don't want to say underwhelming, because it actually it has some cool concepts. Um, but yeah, I didn't think it was bad. I think it's like a proof of concept. Hopefully that they do, hopefully they do more to this map rather than just like a little survival thing at the end. But that is the entire Easter egg, as I said. So we're going to end it there. Uh, again, hopefully that helped you guys out. Um, it's pretty easy, pretty fun. Not bad. Good job, Jason.